Hi, this is Joe McNally for Adorama TV. And in this segment, I'm gonna to talk to you about creating smooth light for a smooth face and a harder, edgier light for a face that's a little rougher and a little more weathered. Adorama TV presents Photo on the Go with Joe McNally. So for the portrait of the smooth, beautiful face you see over my shoulder, I used a bigger light source. One that I'm very, very happy with lately is a three by three, it's called a Skylight Rapid. And if you say you put your subject here, you know, profile into the light, here's your camera angle, obviously, over in here, the light can really wrap around your subject very beautifully. But three by three is a lot of light area to manage. Say you only have one speed light. You know, this can accommodate more than that, two, three even. But the thing about the Rapid is it has these Velcro masks. So you can block this down and create a smaller softbox. You could take these Velcro masks and make this into a strip light, if you will, a one by three. Lots of variety that comes along with this particular Skylight Rapid kit. And that produces, of course, being a big source, a smooth, beautiful profile light. Now the face over my shoulder in this instance is not youthful. This is a wonderful face, got a lot of character. This is a face that's seen a lot. So you don't wanna use perhaps a smooth, beautiful light for a face like this. Okay, in this instance, I used an overhead softbox. Say, let's just take this and adapt it here a little bit. There's my subject. I took an C-stand, again, my tried and true favorite sort of light shaping support. Okay, and I put a two by two softbox overhead of the face. That creates the overall level of light. But then I snap the face really, really powerfully, and this is a very wonderful technique a lot of photographers use by using a ring flash. Ring flash is the quintessential classic on access fill because it actually is a ring that goes right around your lens. So there's absolutely no, you know, sort of angle to the light, you know, it's coming at your subject from the exact same direction that the image plane and the lens are coming at your subject. So in some ways, it's almost like a shadowless light because any shadows that it throws mimics the shape of the subject and throws it straight back, depending, of course, on your angle and height. But I refer to this as a ring flash. I think it's an appropriate name because I call it a wake-up call for the eyes. A little low power into a ring flash for your subject pops their face. Hi, Joe McNally here for Adorama. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win prizes. Pro Photo Ring, okay, it obviously would go right around my lens, right here, okay, and it pops or fills. As I say, think of it, ring flash, think of it as a wake-up call for the eyes. And depending on how much power you put into it, it can either be a very dominant light, which will look very garish, or it can just be a little wink right at the camera that opens up the detail, especially in a face like you have here. Okay, you want to see all those lines and ridges. This is Joe McNally for Adorama TV, talking to you about a smooth light for a smooth face, but a light with more pop and edge for a face that has character. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.